Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next, I like to show you that what to do if your motor saw motor saw saw is uh, not starting and and how to start investigate that what is wrong in your motor saw. And and there I have good quality motor saw. What is this brand is is steel and, and there is now interesting situation that that normally this this saw and this engine has been worked really excellent but now it is not starting and what what to do if I notice that my motor saw, saw is not starting first step is to, of course to try to start this engine and, and test that if if this this helps and now now there is situation that that when I insert this my my starting which in this position what is in this down position and then I start to start this engine Now this engine don't start. First step is normally to check that that do I have enough gasoline. And for that, this is number one. I open this my fuel tank and then I check that how much I have in their fuel and now it seems that this is full. Okay. This is good, then I need to investigate next thing. Next thing is normally that that does this my motor saw and this engine give gives those sparks sparks like in this fire and this spark plug generates those sparks and let's go to check those. And when we are planning to check those spark plugs situation, we need to first open these covers. And in that models, these parts are plastic. And, and when I rotate that part, I can take this part away. This is like cover. And then there is this second red panel. There is a small screw. And I need a screwdriver. And I open that part, and then I little bit move that up, and then this cover opens. And then, quite oftenly, we need to also insert that that uh, that this uh, chain break in this front position. It happens so that that when it is in the standard position, we move our hand in this direction, and then this this break system moves to forward. Okay, and here we have this engine and and, and here is the spark plug and when I am starting to take the spark plug out, first I need to open this spark plug hat and it goes so that I only move that in this direction. And now it opens. And then I open the spark plug and for that I need spark plug tool that should fit in there and now it seems that that this my air filter take contacts and I need to open this air filter screws that they are that they don't hinder my work. Okay. Now this air filter opens, and then I can then I can insert that my spark plug tool in in here this way, and then my friends, and then then I open this 
Так, лук. Okay, let's see what is this park book situation. Okay, and here we have this spark plug and then we check that is this wet or clean and it's look quite okay and then I insert that spark plug back in here and I insert that that part in here and then when here is this small hole in there I am trying to look that area that is here any spark when I pull that starting Okay, there is, there is actually spark in there, when we look this closer, in there, okay, but there is small spark in between in there. Okay, this is good signal, then I think that we have this next, next part is then, that if this spark plug is working, then we have issue in, in this fuel injection system, this, this carburetor, and, and, and that, and that job, that job is, is a little bit more difficult, and now, now I insert there was one part, what should in there. This is okay, and, uh, and then, then I think that if we need to check that is this our 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 carburetor working, I I need to then insert my spark plug back in here, and then I. I tighten this plug Okay Now this spark plug it is back and then I insert spark plug hat in back and and then I move that that I, I I I will be secure that this electric line is solid in here. Okay. And then I I think that I try to again start this machine. Because sometimes it could open and then I check that what was this my procedure? Yes, I there is full full this starting power and half and this is first one. Okay, then I insert that in. This was like end and starting and, and in here let's start. Okay. And now I think that we have issue in this carburetor area. And for that testing, I can insert in here a little bit fuel in that that hole, and this hole goes directly in this this engine. And if I insert in there fuel and engine start, then I have issue in here, and I have to disassemble this carburetor. But let's check when I insert there this fuel a little bit and. And we continue. Okay, and then I have here small gap where I am planning to insert this fuel and gasoline from out out in here. And it, it happens so that that I open this this tank this tank cap, and and then I a little bit move that that fuel in here in this way. Now there is fuel. Then I close this tank. And then I insert this, 
this is this is now full here is this this gasoline and then I insert this gasoline directly in this hole in here and this hole goes in piston area and then I I have that and I I try this I fuel okay and then little bit this this gas gas out and then when I start to now start this engine and if this engine starts then I know that I have issue in my carburetor okay then I start to start this engine and let's look that does this start now Okay, and now this engine starts, and now I know that I have issue in this my carburetor. And this carburetor, this assembly, is bigger job, and and I will I will so in in next next that how we start to disassemble this this. Uh, carburetor but before of that I check this this my there is this fuel filter and I check this fuel filter situation but now now there is now there is issue that fuel is not coming in this there is fuel filter in some place I believe I am trying to find that and now it seems that I I need to take all of these gasolines away. Okay, and this was this information that how to check that why motor saw is not starting and there is issue in this carburetor. And this carburetor fixing is more complex job and I will I must do new video on that area okay and thank you for watching this video